guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing episode 15, I believe, of Envy. So I'm gonna get started just so that the video isn't that long. It started screen recording a little late, just a little FYI. But, oh my God, he put me in my cheerleading uniform. And it told me to turn on my sound too. So it has this like sound. So glad you're awake to join us. I'm not making that noise. Shut up, old hag. Oh my God. I'm sorry, what's that? Don't you dare touch my mom again, you effing bastard. Ew. Mmm, feisty. Ew, what? That's good, I'm going to enjoy playing with you. Oh my god. I can't. I suddenly realized that I was wearing my cheerleading uniform. Oh my god. He had stripped me of my clothes and put this on me while I was unconscious. I feel like vomiting. You're not going to get away with this. Come on, James. Where you at? Why, because the police are watching me? If you mean that pathetic guy that they stationed outside my house, he fell asleep in his car. Great. He certainly didn't notice me leaving my back door. Please, let my mom go. You can do whatever you want with me. Silly girl, I can't let her go, but I'll do whatever I want with you, all right? I knew it was you. Yes, I kind of figured that out by the way you and your friend were glaring at me in class. That was so obvious. I literally said it in the last video. It was so obvious. What? Why are my AirPods? But do tell, what gave it away? You tried to frame James. It was you who planted Jazz's hair in his car that day when you came up to us outside school. Oh, you figured that out, did you? Guilty as charged. But why did you do it? Why did you kill all of them? Are we really going to do the whole serial killer confession thing now? That's so cliche. Why does everyone who is about to die always want to know why? It's so boring. Fine, we've got the, the whole night to play anyway. I don't understand. You're our teacher. I've always hated you, little... Oh my god. Prancing around in your cheerleader uniforms, your little short skirts hiked up, teasing all the boys. You act like you're too good for anybody, but you're all just little... Oh my god. Who is this guy? He's literally a teacher. Calm down. He has some serious effing issues. For real. It was why I got this job as a teacher in high school. But if you hated cheerleaders so much, why didn't you just stay far away from us? Because somebody had to do something about you. He needs to relax. I've been watching all of you for a long time, making my plans. You were actually going to be the first one. But then somebody posted an ad on Creeps List. Offering to pay cash for you to be taken out. Taken out? Oh yes, this woman wanted you dead so badly she posted a hit on you. Who? She hated you for being the head cheerleader, blamed you for taking the spot from her daughter. Faye's mom? Oh my... Oh, he said try again. Christ, you're really as dumb as you look. Try again. Amaya? Ding ding, somebody gave the girl a prize. So Jazz's mom. Amaya put a hit on me. I mean, I knew that she was a bit baddie when it came to cheerleading, but this was off the charts crazy. This was Jack Nicholson in The Shining crazy. I called the number that she had listed and advised her to take it down before somebody reported it to the police. I mean, what an amateur. That's why he said that her mom knew too much. He said something about that in one of the episodes, I don't remember. Then I figured, hey, I was planning to kill you anyway. Why not get paid for it at the same time? I told her to give me the cash up front to make sure she was serious about it. But then why did you kill Faye? Your coach told Faye's parents that she was going to make Faye Green co-captain and her mom told Amaya about it. So Amaya changed her mind and asked me to bump off Faye first. I was going to kill all of you anyway. It didn't matter to me which one I did first. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. Oh my god. I couldn't believe everything that I was hearing. It was like I had taken a step off the edge of a reason and plummeted into the abyss of an insane mind. I don't think I said that right. Two insane minds, actually. Are we done with the 101 questions? I'd really like to get started if you don't mind. Wait, how did you get Faye alone with you? I just offered to give her a ride home in my car. It was that easy. The Black Ford? Yes, the Black Ford. You know I figured you saw my car that day when you were locked out of your house. That's why you were asking me about it the other day, wasn't it? Thanks for all the heads up, by the way. I made sure to get rid of it immediately. It didn't matter anyway. I bought it only for $300. The person was so happy to sell that piece of junk for cash up front, he didn't ask any questions. Did you buy that car just to use it for us? 
Well, duh, I wasn't going to use my normal card that's registered under my name, wasn't I? But why did Amaya want Gappy dead, too? She didn't. That one, I threw it just for free. Were you really dating her? You just said you hated cheerleaders. Oh, yeah, Gabby was the worst of them all, wasn't she? The ultimate cheerleader, B. S. <laughs> she threw herself at me, you know? She came into my office after school one day and sat in front of my desk and hitched up her skirt. Please stop. She was so desperate for approval all the time. She was so envious of how you were the most popular girl in school and not her. I had so much fun with her before I killed her. I told her how she could improve herself to be more like you. It drove her nuts, but she just kept coming back for more. You're a monster. Aw, is that supposed to hurt my feelings? This guy is psycho. Like, when I say psycho, I mean psycho, like insane. He needs help. But why did you kill Amaya and Jazz too? Amaya was becoming a nuisance. You can't imagine how satisfying it was to push her off that back balcony. Almost as satisfying as it was to play with her daughter afterwards. All right, I'm sick of talking. I wanna play now. My God, why did I make that noise? Seven years ago. Oh, why are we going back to seven years ago? What is this? We're too hot to handle. There is no doubt. We're too hot to handle. Or we'll knock you out. Those are other cheerleaders. What's going on? Wow, they're so pretty. Especially L. Oh. This is when he was in high school. Don't tell me he killed her too. Like what you see? I bet you'd like to touch me. Ew. You're so hot. Ew, what is this? Hey man, are you okay? So for weeks, we were wondering where this horrid smell was coming from. Oh my god, haha. <laughs> I mean, it smelled like a dead body in there. What's going on? And then, and then it turned out Niall had left a hunk of cheese in his sock drawer while drunk and forgot about it. I don't want to know the details. There's a boy just standing there staring at us. Darren, what are you doing? Ew, he's so creepy. I think he's staring at you, Elle. Do you know him? Um, no, I don't think so. I think he's coming over. He is so weird. Hello, Elle. <laughs> I'm sorry, do I know you? Um, I'm Daryl. Okay. He's so awkward, it's kind of cute, but also kind of creepy. Can I help you? Do you? Would you like to go to the movies with me? Um, I'm sorry, Darren, but I'm already dating someone, and he's standing right behind you. Don't tell me it's... Oh, who is that? Who are you? You're dating this jock? You can do better. What did you say? You're a little piece of... Kaka. I'll have you know I'm not just a jock. I'm also into theater. Yeah, I'm dating him as if it's any of your business. And you'd better get lost before I beat the S out of you, you... That. You should dump this guy, L. What the F? Jesus, are you okay? Yeah, oh my god, what a freak. I totally called it. What? What just happened? I'm so lost. Ew! Oh, I thought this was Darren. Never mind. Come on, my parents won't be home until after 11. What the? Oh my god, it's Darren. There's somebody sitting in the tree outside spying on us. Hey, you, stop right there. Of course, it's him. Who else would it be? You. It's that creep from the other day. Oh, my God. Get up. I'm going to beat the S out of you, you a-hole. No, Niall, don't. But... I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Darren, fine. You're lucky L has a soft heart. Now get the F out of here, you creep, before I change my mind. And if I ever see you anywhere near L again, you'd wish you'd never be born. That was such a great movie. All right, I'll admit, it was better than I expected. Come on, I'll walk you home. And to think that you were, and to think that you were skeptical about watching a sci-fi murder mystery with androids. Oh, I love... Kate or you in that role? What? 
effing BITCH is. I'll show you. Oh! Die. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. What the heck is wrong with this guy? I'm telling you, he's really psycho. Look at him laughing. I showed you, didn't I? Thought you were too good for me. What is he mumbling about? Kill you. Oh my god. What's gonna happen? Oh, that's it. That's where it ends. Oh my god. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to give it a like if you did. Comment down below what you think about Darren. Because I really think he's crazy. And it says my camera's about to die. So I'm going to hurry this up a little bit. So comment down below. Subscribe to see the next video on Thursday. It's the next episode, episode 16. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys. Oh,